What's by this is your boy and welcome back to a new reaction video and today we are reacting to Doctor Who Season 3 Episode 9 The Family of Blood. Now it actually, it actually has been like a while since I actually have reacted to Doctor Who. Um, I want to get out of the way that for Classic Doctor Who I'm still reacting to Classic Doctor Who but it's just one of my other videos I couldn't, one of my other videos the recording wasn't right so I've just been putting it off so when Classic Who does come back then, um, what do you, uh, then the Dalek storyline, like the Daleks, episode three won't be available because basically the recording messed up. That's kind of why I've been kind of putting it off because, like, it's kind of weird if I don't have a reaction, but they'll come back with episode four and five and then six and seven. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so for Doctor Who, the last episode we found out that the Doctor made himself human, which is really weird. Like, I don't know why they would do that, mainly because, I don't know, mainly because I feel like in future Doctor Who seasons, that's not going to be an option, so why introduce it now? Because, like, I feel like that could just be a, a scapegoat for the Doctor. So I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I don't, I didn't, I enjoyed last episode, but I didn't enjoy his circumstances and what he did. But right now we're going to figure, I think, I forget if he remembers or not. Does he remember? I forget if he does or not, but we're going to find out if he remembers. Oh, yeah, yeah, last episode was like... Uh, turn yourself into the doctor, and the doctor was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead and react to Doctor Who, season three, episode nine, The Family of Blood. Look, he he was there in the future too, I think, because he ran into Martha. Time Lord will emerge. Time Lord. We'll die together. Oh. Who really pull the trigger? If she's going to die, she would have pulled the trigger. Uh, if... Looks too scared. Scared and holding a gun's good combination. Do you want to risk it? Do what she said. Everybody out now. That's funny that Martha's giving the doctor orders. What? Don't try anything. I'm warning you, or Sunny Boy gets it. She's almost brave. Oh. Good work, sort of. Oh, <laughs> um. this body has traces of memory. Was once her friend. Martha would go walking to the west. As would have mine. Well, it made sense. Go to the west. Perhaps you and I should have a word in private. No, I, I wow. Know, sir. I was in the village with Matron. It's Baines, sir. Jeremy Baines and Mr. Clark from Oakham Farm. They've gone mad, sir. They've got guns. They've already murdered people in the village. I saw it happen. What makes you think the danger's coming here? Well, sir, they, they sent them. Um... Baines threatened Mr. Smith, sir. Um, said he'd follow him. We don't know why. So, Baines and one of the cleaning staff, there's always a woman involved. <laughs> Am I to gather that some practical joke has got out of hand? Headmaster, sir, good evening, sir. Come to give me a caning, sir. Would you like that, sir? Well, send us Mr. John Smith. That's all we want, sir. Mr. John Smith and whatever he's done with his Time Lord consciousness, sir. Oh, 1913. Wide, I kept hearing 1930. Things we have seen. <laughs> okay, that 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 clears things up for me. Oh. Run along, headmaster. Run back to school. And send us Mr. Smith. Honestly, sir, I have no idea. And the telephone line's been disconnected. We are on. He's a liar too. He said when you open the watch, he'll remember. <laughs> he doesn't remember yet. They're actually they're actually like preparing for two people. They're preparing for all the. Well, it's like it was for four people. Um, Could literally just pop them right now if they wanted to. Really? And the Skullcrow people are kind of scary too, but they could, you know, take off their heads. And gunshots probably don't affect them because they're made out of straw. So, unless like you have a shotgun and their whole just, you know, torso gets obliterated. I do like I do like Doctor I do like Doctor Who's slight horrorness in some of their episodes. Like for season one, it was the child, the, the idiot's lantern with the big face things. I did like that one. Who are you? I'm from 2007. I'm not. That's where she's from. I mean, you haven't got a rival as much as I might. Just his friend. Human, I take it. Human. Don't worry. Carpal bones, proximal row, scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, pisiform. She's probably smarter than you, but it's like, it's like where she's where she's grown from. It's like it's like where she's from. Proximal, middle, distal. I don't, I don't... No, that's not true. Never. 
I don't care for these. I don't care for her that much. Mark was right about one thing, though. There's boys, they're children. John Smith wouldn't want them to fight. What's that supposed to mean? It means you and I both survived this. The thing is, I thought they were talking about 1930, so I thought he was already in the World War. So that means he's from the future. Or the watch is telling him what he's about to do. I mean, he knows what's, what's going to happen a year in advance. Oh my god. Oh. That was so kind of like anticlimactic. The, the, music, the music just stopped. The straw. Like he said. No blood. And no one's dead, sir. We killed no one. See? I don't like him. I don't know if it's his acting, but... I don't know. He's kind of ruining it for me. <laughs> How'd he get over there? Come back, Doctor! Come home! And his love, why can't I be John Smith? Isn't he a good man? Yes, yes he is. Why can't I stay? But we need the Doctor. Hey, this is my first time seeing like actual emotion from him. The past seasons, he's just been super goofy and giddy. It was only when he lost Rose was when I first saw his like emotion, but like every every other thing he like kind of like was too happy. What exactly do you do for him? Why does he need you? Because of this right here. Because he's lonely. And that's what you want me to become. This must be the the best person in the universe right now, Doctor. What if it's them? And you need a companion, or else you'll I'm not an become like this. He's wonderful. I've still got this. The journal. Those are just stories. Mm. Now we know that's not true. Perhaps there's something in here. You knew this all along, and yet you watched while Nurse Redfern and I... I didn't know how to stop you. He gave me... You so five seconds ago, you just said you weren't going to do it. Falling in love. That didn't even occur to him. People are dying out there. They need him and I need him. Because you've got no idea what he's like. I've only just met him. It, it wasn't even that long ago, but... He is everything. I need, I need the doctor's he's attitude this episode. To me and he... I wonder if... Because uh, the first ever doctor, I like him. He's kind of he's kind of sassy. I, I wonder if he like... If there's any other doctors like him. You can't do that. If they want the doctor, they can have it. He'll never let you do it. <clears throat> if they get what they want, then 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 it all ends in destruction. Oh my lord! So this thing will tell the. Okay. Wow. Why are they doing this to him? Now he doesn't. Now he really doesn't want to do this. Of raising kids with her. <laughs> Human. <clears throat> he made himself an idiot. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? I don't care Whoa. about this doctor and your family. I just want you to go. Now we shall have the lives of a time lord. It's empty. He already used it? He already used it. Where's it gone? You tell me. Might be you've been fooled by a simple olfactory misdirection. A little bit like I didn't even notice like his human form had a little accent or a little demeanor. Oh, I missed that. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't need you guys to get out. It really got out. Look at them running. And why are they running in slow motion? <laughs> That's kind of ruthless. Anyway, he, he he doesn't exist in time. He to live forever, so the doctor made sure that we did. Wow, that's messed up. He was braver than you. In the end, that ordinary man. 
You chose to change. Um. He chose to die. That ordinary man to chose to change the doctor. If the doctor never visited us, if it never chose in this place on a whim, would anyone here have died? Probably not. If you want, I could go and. Time we moved on. Um. Meant to say, back there last night, I would have said anything to get you to change. Oh, yeah, of course you would. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't really. No, no, no. But the biggest war ever. You don't have to fight. I think we do. World War One? We could get hurt. Well, so could you, traveling around with him, but it's not going to The stop war you. to end all wars. Tim, I'd be honored if you'd take this. Are you going to give him to look in the future? What if he, like, looks at his death? No. Just a watch. Oh, okay. In June 1914, an Archduke of Austria was shot by a Serbian. And I thought it was Archduke Ferdinand of Austria. Nations, like a line of dominoes for them. There's some boys from England walking together in France. Ready to fight another world war in like 20 years? 30 years? I don't know. Yeah, it would be... Oh, there he is. There he is. He was the one in the wheelchair. Oh. Ah. Oh. What does that represent? I need to know. I need to know what this represents. I get all of his friends died. He was the last one alive. He always kept that. That's crazy. It still looks the same. He always kept that watch. Next episode looks intense. Just from that one clip I saw, I don't like watching the next time, but from, from that one clip I saw, the next episode looks gonna be really good. It looks like it's gonna be set modern day. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so I said I like, I said I like period piece uh, episodes, but I guess this season hurt me because there's been like really nothing but period pieces. Um, but it seems like next episode. It's called Blink, and maybe it'll be in modern day. Um, but yeah, this episode, I don't know. Now, now I get why it's a two-parter. Now I get why it was a two-parter, but I still don't. I still think they could have condensed it for one episode. I, I do think they could have condensed it for one episode because, to me, it didn't, it didn't seem worthy of two parts. Really, I mean, I do like how creative it was, like how different it was, because like. We didn't really have the doctor. We had Smith, Mr. John Smith, which I did not. I was not a fan of John Smith, if you couldn't tell. Um, but as soon as the doctor came, I was ready. Um, but this season has been, it's been good. <laughs> I'm not going to rate it yet, but this season has had its gems. But um, as far as a continuous, it doesn't have a continuous storyline, like how Bad Wolf was. Um, and even season two kind of had a little, con like, had season two had little torchwood bits thrown in, but season three seems like it's, like, all over the place right now, but, um, I guess, like, the continuation is, um, oh, what's his name? The, the, the political guy? The one that, the one that, um, is obsessed with Martha's mom for some reason? I forget his name. I can actually look at, if I look at one of my comments. Oh, Harold Saxon, there we go. Harold Saxon, so, like, I guess Harold Saxon is, like, the kind of continuation, but, um, next episode seems really good. I mean, I don't know, from that, like, that, that snippet I got, like, that one, because I always pause it, but, um, after watching the episode, I always pause it so I don't see the little previous, but I was too late this time. And it didn't give me too much, but it seems like next episode is going to be good. So it seems, I don't know, it gave me a Scooby-Doo vibe. I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, I was, I was going to say something else, too. I forgot what I was going to say. I don't remember now. Yeah, but yeah, this was a good episode, so yeah, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.